a message We're of not going to be frightened. Hope for the present. We're going to live our lives. And hope for the future. As Americans. People are jumping out the windows. Over there, they're jumping out the windows. And Let's roll. The second plane has now flown in. Wait, the explosion world. at the Pentagon? A third location. Are on alert. And outside of Washington. I don't have words to describe what I'm witnessing right now. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. This is a very, very difficult period that the fire department is going through and the city is going through. The brothers, the brothers. You have to recognize the grief, the loss, and the devastating effect of it. The brothers, the brothers. You have to let it happen. And then you have to let that feeling, that awful feeling of loss and fear and anger and transform itself into doing our jobs even better. We need a bucket line over here. Right through here, we need a bucket line. Pass back. The brothers, 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 the We're just doing our job out here, but our, uh, the brothers that are trapped in there, uh, we're hearing names, we haven't really uh, heard positive names yet, but it's, it's not a good feeling right now. Through these fields of destruction, baptisms of fire, tangled, twisted steel, concrete, an enormous pile. I've witnessed your son. You really can't see. The visibility is real poor. As the battle reached A lot of smoke, a uh, lot of heat coming off, off of the debris. And the wind so bad. I love you, Daddy. I miss you a lot. In the fear and the love. My loving father, we love you and miss you. You did not desert me, my brothers and I. The brothers, the brothers, the brothers. Yes. There is hope. The change that's happened to me. It has united us. And we've become a family. The tears have to make you stronger. Every time you cry, you have to remember that we're right and they're wrong. Let us September 11th never will go down in our history as a day forget to remember.